I'll explain you how many types of beams are there. The types of beam. The first one is simply supported beam. Here we have the diagram as if we have a beam whose length is capital L and it is supported at its extreme ends that kind of beam is called as simply supported beam. Next cantilever beam If we have a beam which is fixed at one end and free at the other end, that beam is called as cantilever beam. If we have a beam which is fixed at both the ends, that kind of beam is called as fixed beam. Next is overhanging beam. If we have a beam which is supported, you can say that at point A, at point B, BC portion of the beam is hanging. The total length of the beam is L plus X. So only L portion is supported and X portion is hanging that kind of beam is called as overhanging beam in overhanging beam it can hang either from one side or you can even have overhanging beam in such a way where it is overhanging from both the sides next we have continuous beam a beam which has more than two supports that kind of beam is called as continuous beam and continuous beam is also like a simply supported beam it is supported at the ends and apart from support at the ends it should have some support in between or anywhere in between A to C. So such kind of beam is continuous beam as we have seen in this article that here we have different types of beam. I have given you what is the example of simply supported beam, what is cantilever beam, fixed beam, overhanging beam and continuous beam. Now let me give you the types of loading. Similar to the types of beam, here we have types of loads. The first one is point load or concentrated load. As we see in this diagram, here we have simply supported beam supported at A and B. If the loading is in such a way that it acts at a point like we can see W1 is acting at a point, W2 is acting at a point similarly W3. So here you can say that since load is acting at a single point, it is called as point load or concentrated load. Next is uniformly distributed load. Uniformly distributed load, it is also denoted as UDL. UDL, like if I have a simply supported beam called as AB having length L, then uniformly distributed load is 
acting throughout the length of the beam it is not acting at one particular point like concentrated load it is there throughout the beam and its intensity is given as w it would be in terms of newton per meter and this udl we never use this udl in the problem as it is we would be converting this udl into point load once we are into the problems i would be explaining it to you how to convert udl into point load after uniformly distributed load we have the last kind of load that is called as uniformly varying load this uniformly varying load is also called as uvl it is such a load that along the length of the beam ab l is the length at a the intensity of the load is different at b the intensity of load is different that is if i join these vertical lines i can say at a the intensity is w1 newton per meter at b the intensity is w2 newton per meter and the load is continuously increasing from w1 to w2 so this is the uniformly varying load suppose here we have at w1 the load as 0 the intensity so the uvl will become like this so on this kind of beam the load intensity is varying it is w newton per meter and it behaves like a right angle triangle where base of the triangle is considered as the intensity of load which is w newton per meter l is the length so we can even convert this uvl into a point load by saying that point load is equal to w multiplied by l where w is in newton per meter length is in terms of meter so meter meter gets cancelled out and we have point load in terms of newton and this point load would be acting at one third from base that is one third of l so this would be the point of action of the uvl which is converted into a point load so with these concepts that is i have given you all the types of load point load acting at single point uniformly distributed load acting throughout and uniformly varying load changing from one point to another from one point to another with these concepts we can easily start the solution for the problems.